If you know your way around Windows, you've likely noticed that there are several power plans to choose from. Power plans such as Power Saver, Balanced, maybe even High Performance. And on certain gaming rigs, they come with an ultimate power performance plan built onto Windows when it ships from the factory. Well, what if you don't have one of those? What if you want one that's better? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the ultimate power plan for Windows using a free tool called Quick CPU. So stay tuned. Now the short and quick way to get this done is to simply open up an elevated command prompt and then copy and paste this command which I'll drop in the description, hit enter, poof you're done. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Whoa, I wouldn't do that. I'm going to show you a method that is a lot more comprehensive and gives us a lot more control. So to get started, we first need to open up our browser and go to this website, which I'll put the link in description. It's right here at coderbag.com. We're gonna download the program called Quick CPU. It's 100% free. To get it, we just scroll all the way down to the bottom. We'll find the download section. And you'll have all these different older releases if you have a specific requirement. And what you're gonna wanna download if you're on Windows 10 or 11 is the 64-bit. It's very unlikely that today you would be on 32-bit unless you're like on Windows 7 with less than four gigs of RAM. So very unlikely, you'll download the quick CPU. Now, while that's downloading and installing, allow me to tell you a little bit about our sponsor, Aura. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura, who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link Aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. I already have it downloaded and installed. Once it's installed, this will be your basic interface. Now, to get started, we're gonna go ahead and create another power plan. So right now we have balanced, high performance, and power saver. Now to create another one, we're gonna click this button here at the top for max performance. We click that, then click accept. What we've done now is we created the quick CPU scheme. Now that's kind of an odd name. So what we're gonna do in order to create the ultimate power setting is we're gonna click up here to power. And in this menu, we have all the individual settings that we can actually modify for each power uh, plan that we have here, whether it be power saver, and we can change things as, as far as uh, how long, how many seconds until we dim the display, different hard disk options, lots of options we can do here. Now you don't have to go in here and modify things because the quick CPU scheme that we created is essentially higher than high performance and we can even compare the power plan. So if we select CPU scheme and we compare it against say balanced and then show the differences, we see all these different things. So for example, on quick CPU scheme, the screen's gonna stay lit and in full, full brightness much longer than say the balanced power plan and turn off display much longer. We can go through the whole list and see exactly where different parts of the, the system are running at a higher power level and where balanced is running at a more conservative power level. And it gets very advanced all the way up to how fast and how powerful PCI settings are, USB power, processor power. Now, this is not gonna handle overclocking, so don't worry about it. This is just Windows power. We're not gonna be pushing our system more than it is. And like I said in the intro, Windows is a bit on the conservative side. So anyway, what we're gonna do now, since we don't wanna keep the CPU scheme, I mean, we could, it just looks tacky. We're gonna go to power plan management and we see all of our active power plans right now. We have balanced, quick CPU, high performance, and power saver. What we're gonna do here is we're going to rename it and you can actually rename this to whatever you like. I'm gonna call it ultimate performance, but you could name it whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, if I open up Windows Power, I'm gonna close this first. If I go to choose a power plan, I now have ultimate performance and it's also listed as my preferred plan. I also have additional plans such as the original power saver, high performance and balanced. So essentially here I'm done, but wait, there's more. So 
what you can do in this section, I'm gonna go ahead and select Ultimate Performance, which is actually right there. Now I've selected Ultimate Performance. This is the active one that I'm modifying. And over here, I have my core parking index. When this is set at 100%, I'm essentially telling Windows to tell my CPU to keep my cores always unparked for as long as possible. And so right now I have 12 cores enabled, zero cores parked. By default, a lot of processors, multi-core processors, will put some of them to sleep. And I made a whole other video, which you can check out up here, about how to unlock your, your CPU cores. You have this at 100%, you're essentially pushing your CPU to have those cores ready to go all the time. Now I'm running this on a Ryzen 5 5600X. But if you're running this on certain Intel i7, i9s like 13900K, 14900K, there's no way you can unpark them all the time. That's not the way the CPU works. It's got 3D technology as well. So some of them are gonna be parked no matter what, unless you push them, but at least you can have them there. Now frequency scaling, this is essentially where I want my base CPU. So right now my base frequency is 4.2 gigahertz. That's actually kind of high for this processor, it's normally gonna go down to 1.7 when it's doing nothing, but I have the frequency scaling set at 100% and turbo boost 100%, meaning when I start pushing my CPU, I wanna go straight up to over five gigahertz. So, and then overall performance, you can kind of set this right here if you wanna save some power, but you can actually fine tune things. Maybe you're running a laptop and you're running too hot. Well, if you're running too hot, you can actually bring back the turbo boost a bit. Drop that to 50%. Your main frequency, your everyday frequency, your responsiveness in your machine is still gonna be the same. Your base frequency and real-time frequency will stay the same, but when you push your machine, it won't push it so high. That's actually a really good idea for certain laptops that are overheating. Bring down the turbo boost. And if you absolutely still can't cool your laptop, bring this down a little bit here maybe even performance, but you want to get, you want, probably don't want to mess with this too much. Usually bringing down turbo boost or frequency scaling to 70, 60, and then you'll see the temperatures where you want. I have no cooling problem, so I want this to run beast mode. Then I hit apply. Now ultimate performance is at 100% on everything. I basically a, a given maximum amount of power that Windows will allow without overclocking or changing any types of voltage in the BIOS. So like I said, this is not pushing it beyond your warranty or beyond the manufacturer's recommended settings. We're only messing with Windows power, which like I said from the start, is a bit on the conservative side. And that's that. That's how you create the ultimate power profile in Windows. And even if you guys were able to follow my command line approach, maybe if you ITs and you want to be able to tweak things, you can still use Quick CPU after the fact to edit your power plans and make adjustments to where it suits you. I hope you found this video helpful. Please tell me in the comments how it worked out for you. And if you like it, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.